How's it going everybody? My name is Driver53 and I'm going to be taking a look at Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 here today in this video. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what you need to do to set up a game save, all the different settings that are here, and how you actually get in and start your career as a mechanic here in this game. And then we're actually going to get in there, take a look around the garage. This is going to be a series that we're going to continue for quite a while and build up our empire here in the garage. So let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at all the different settings and options that you have here on the main menu. So the first thing you're going to have here is tutorials. Whenever you click on this, you're going to have a lot of different little short videos that you can watch. So if you want to see kind of how to work the pie menu a little bit, come in here. There's no audio to this at all. It's just little snips of videos with words down at the bottom. Now it's not going to show you everything in the game. It's just some of the bigger highlight items here. So next, whenever we come out of that, downloadable content. If you want to get in and purchase any of the extra DLCs that are available with the game, this is where you can do it. You can also do it from your store. So here in the car showroom, you can run over there and take a look at all the different cars that are available in game right now. So next, let's come down here to settings. And this is going to be your audio settings. And I've got game volume set to 50% right now. So you can hear the tools in the background, but they're not going to overpower my voice. So next, you can come over here to language. This is going to be English for me. Obviously, if you've got a different language, you can select that here. And then game settings. Go through here, test out some stuff, invert the y-axis, you know, controller sensitivity. I've got everything turned up as high as I can right now because I really like to move around quickly. Um, unrealistic wheel sizes, you can turn that on or off. Enable travel fees. I've got it off right now just for this first little bit. I'm going to display everything in Imperial units right now. So car sensitivity here, I've got that turned up to 100% because I really like to feel it and I'm known for crashing vehicles sometimes. The last item down here at the bottom is called extras. Now this is like global statistics that you have right here. You can go through and see how many bolts you've unbolted, how much um, scrap you've earned. I mean, all kinds of stuff. You can look at barns, you can see parts bought. I mean, all your statistics right here. Really, really awesome to see how much work you've actually done in the game. And if you come over to credits, it's gonna run the credits for you. We're not going to take a look at that right now. Let's get back over here and take a look at the game. So what we're going to do is go into play. And as you can see, you're going to want to select a new game for the very first time. Now, if you've already got a game going on, you can select that one up there. And you're going to be able to have four different game saves going at the same time. So if you want to try out different modes or different types of vehicles in each one, absolutely go right on ahead. But what we're going to do is come down here to new game. Whenever I select that, it's going to ask me for my name, Driver 53 Customs. When I hit new game, it's going to ask me which type of game would I like to play. So as you can see, easy is a simplified classic game mode. Great for beginners, more starting money and less demanding orders. All parts and orders and missions are discoverable. That's really cool. Normal classic gameplay, regular orders with ramping difficulty. So if you want to, if you're kind of experienced with the game a little bit, go ahead and try this one. Expert only for experienced players. Remove descriptions, parts and bolt outlines double XP gain. So if you really know a lot about the cars and what is exactly needed and what's not needed in the assembly or disassembly mode, and you really want to go fast, double XP. Now, if you just want to have a good time, Sandbox is the one for you. Unlimited money, scraps, and fully upgraded garage. Disabled orders and story missions. Trophies are disabled in this mode though. So you're not going to be able to earn trophies in Sandbox. So you can get in there and have fun and not have to worry about struggling right at the very beginning. You can just jump right in there and buy your favorite car, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to start an easy. So if this is your first play, we recommend to play the basic tutorials. We're not going to do that today. We're just going to jump straight in here. So we have a message right off the bat. It says, welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. This is your new garage. Take a look around and get to know your new workspace. You have at your disposal an old adapted gas station with its surroundings. Complete orders, purchase and renovate cars and expand your garage. Good luck. All right, so we're gonna hit X here. So as you can see up in the top right hand corner, we have zero XP right now out of 150. So it's gonna take us 150 points of experience to be able to get to level two. The blue icon is your scraps icon. We'll go over that in a little bit down the line as we get into more and more of that and figure out exactly what that does for us. And then your credits, you have 10,000 credits. Well, let's take a look at our shop first. So as you can see, it's a nice little place right here. You break, we fix, auto repair, fluids, refill and change. And then it's got auto body and parts, fix it all. Nice, you got a nice little gas station right here. So this is as far out as you can get. As you can see, we're out on a really nice dusty road here. The traffic doesn't stop. Holy cow, 
Full service repairs, fluids, brakes, engine, transmission, snacks, and Wi-Fi. Nice. I really like how it's on the historic Route 66. That is awesome. So around back, we've got some other things too that you're going to be able to build into the map a little bit later. But as of right now, you're not going to have any access to those things. So let's go ahead and enter into the door right here. So you're going to hit X to use it. And you're going to go in. And the first thing you see is a bunch of garbage and a school bus. Now, let's just take a look around here really, really quick. I mean, you've got one lift. You've got a computer, a radio, a phone, and some different things like that. So let's take a look here around what's going on. So you can see you have a gate right here. And whenever you use this gate, it's actually going to transport you to the outside. But it's not going to stay open. So we'll hit that and come back in. Both of these gates are going to do the exact same thing for you. Next, right here, toolbox. So this is important. This is how you're going to like level up your yourself and your skill levels, okay? So as you can see here at the bottom, we have a runner, and that's going to make you move faster by 2%. And then next is the renovator, ability to fix parts from group 1, increased chance of instant repair by 2%. Next is going to be fast hands, increased screwing speed by 10%. Strong arms, increased mounting, unmounting speed by 10%. Regular customer, 5% discount on parts you buy. And after that is Eagle Eye cuts time to examine a part by 0 0.05 seconds. Not a lot of gain there, but it's going to pay off. Once you get that thing all the way up at the top, it's really, really going to pay off. So as you can see right here, 0.15. So each one of these is going to keep increasing and increasing. And the same thing with all these. So eventually you're going to be able to increase your mounting and unmounting speed by 55%, 45, 35, you know, all the way down. So a lot of really, really good things here. As you can see, the first level is one cost. Then it goes up to two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to need a lot of points. You're going to need a lot of points here to be able to do this. Next, if we hit R1, you can see that on the left-hand side, side, it's garage expansions. So the first one you can see here is a garage expansion. What this is going to do is expand the back end of your garage. It allows further development of your workspace. You don't need anything, but it's going to take 10,000 credits. So we shouldn't do that one right off the bat. Next is a lifter. You can get a second lifter for your garage. Once again, it doesn't require anything, and it's only $2,500 2500 or 2, credits. So it might not be a bad one for you. Then you can get a paint shop, but that's a little bit more expensive than you have right now. A dyno, that's really expensive, 20,000. Salvaging, this is a really nice one because it's going to let you start earning those scraps. All right, so we'll take a look at that here in a little while once we start getting some cars in here car wash 1750 it's going to allow you to clean the cars up a little bit maybe earn just a little bit more money test path once again 10,000 credits but it's going to let you be able to diagnose the cars just a little bit better and it's going to let you do wheel alignments and headlight calibration so that's really really awesome next you can see over here tools now these are relatively inexpensive and they're going to help you be able to diagnose and work on your vehicles a little bit better so you can see we have a tablet here adds tablet to your equipment gives access to the shop from anywhere you need it really really awesome compression tester adds compression tester to your additional tools allows to test condition of some parts inside engine so you don't have to tear them apart to test them welder adds welder to your garage extend your services by full body repairs once again you don't need anything for this one charger adds battery charger to your garage allows to charge car batteries that's a really nice one Tire tread gauge. Adds tire tread tester to your additional tools. Allows to check condition of tires. Onboard diagnostics. Adds OBD scanner to your additional tools. Allows to scan vehicles equipped with OBD parts. Fuel pressure meter. Adds fuel pressure meter to your additional tools. Allows to check condition of fuel connection parts. This one, brake lathe. You need a garage expansion before you can get it. Engine tools. Once again, you're going to need your garage expansion, the body repair station, you're going to need the expansion, and workbench, you're going to need the garage expansion. But the top one here, electronic multimeter, adds electronic multimeter to your additional tools, allows to check electronic connections and resistances. Really, really awesome. So if you want to get all of these, I mean, what's that, 450, and then about 1950, 2100, 2650, 7650, 7950. It's about 8400 bucks. 8500 bucks if you wanted to get all the ones that are available right off the bat.
And it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and get all those because you can really start working on a lot more cars and start doing a lot more jobs on those and be able to make more money per car. So the next thing right here you can see is a map. So if we click on this, you can see that you have your garage up there in the yellow in the top left hand corner. Parking is going to be right in the middle. This is where you're going to store cars that you actually purchase. And we'll take a look at that once we get into that. Test track, that's where you can test out your cars. Racetrack, same thing. You're going to be able to test your vehicles out here at the racetrack. Now the next one you see is car auctions, but you need to be level 15 before you can go there. Then you have junkyard, and that requires a level 5. Then you have car salon down here, and that's going to be where you go purchase a brand new car. Barns, you're going to need to be level 10. And this is where you get to go into a barn and look at old cars that have been sitting for quite a while, dig through some rubbish and, you know, uh, storage containers, things like that, and get to dig out some parts and decide what you want to bring home with you. And then speed track, once again, another place to test your cars. I do believe we haven't got that far into it yet. Once we get a car running, we can take it here and find out. So we're going to go ahead and exit back out of this because I want to take you around over here to the beginning parts of your workbench. And right here is a radio. Now I have music turned off on my game right here, but if you click on this, you can see, you can change the station, you can turn the radio on and off, and you can go to the next song. So definitely, definitely, if you're uh, into listening to music while you work on cars, definitely use this right here. Now here is your phone. So you're gonna hit X and you can see that you have some contracts. Now you can see the second one right here, there's three minutes and 14 seconds. That's how long you have to accept the contract. Over on the right hand side, it's going to tell you that it's poor brake performance. You can also see that in the yellow section, it says bonus 25% credits. That means that you're going to get a 25% bonus on this whenever you complete the job. The next thing you see on the right hand side says 72%. All the components need to be 72% or higher after you are done repairing the vehicle. So if you get a contract and you have a vehicle that says 85% and you have to remove a part that's like 80%, you can save that part for later, and if a car comes in that says, hey, I only need my stuff to be 75, you can use that used part on that vehicle. So it saves you from having to go over to the computer and buy a brand new part. So really, really awesome there. So if we keep coming across, we don't see anything else here on this area. This is actually going to be an oil drain, and we're going to show you how to use that a little bit later once we get a car in here. This right here is going to be your computer. This is where you're going to order all of your parts. And once again, we will show you how to use this once we start working on some cars here in the garage. So if we keep coming across, we have nothing, nothing up here on the back. We have another toolbox right here. This toolbox is going to do the exact same thing for you that the other one did. And then we have a door right here. So let's go ahead and go through this door. And it's actually going to take us back here. Now this is where you're going to be able to expand your shop out a little bit and add some additional things that you can do here. And what I mean by that is like this is a scrap container over here. And once you unlock this one by purchasing it, you're going to be able to come in here and get scrap from the parts that you no longer want to use in your shop. So really, really cool there. Let's go ahead and go back inside. So the next thing you see right here is an interior detailing kit. You're going to be able to move this around and use it. And we're going to go over that. Once we get some cars in here, we will definitely, definitely look at that. A lot of these things, that's the way it's going to work is we're just taking a really, really first glance here at all these items and seeing exactly what we have here in the shop. Next, another toolbox. Going to work exactly the same as the other one. There's a lot of toolboxes around here. Now, we've got some storage here, but I can't get into them. You can't clean up. You don't have access here. I'm sure that's going to open up here soon because it says under construction. Next, you come all the way around, and this is going to be a spring puller. Really, really handy. You are definitely going to need this for suspension work. But once again, we'll cover this in a little bit. All right, so nothing there on that toolbox. We're going to come around this. No storage here. We have a toolbox right here, same thing. All right, so we keep coming around and this is gonna be a wheel balancer. Really, really awesome machine. You're gonna use these two together, the tire changer and the wheel balancer. Anytime you need to make a repair or a change to a tire, you're gonna use these two items. And they are really, really interesting to use. They're a little bit different than Car Mechanic Simulator 18, but they're pretty easy to get used to. So let's keep working our way around. We got another toolbox here. We've got another door right here and that's gonna take you outside again over here by this. Now let's keep walking around out here. There's nothing out here. You're not gonna be able to buy any snacks or anything, keep out. And now we're back over here on this side. So let's run back inside the shop here really, really quick. And let's go ahead and pick up a uh, order. 
Oh, one last thing. This is your lift right here. So, you know what? Let's bring your car in and I'll show you how to use that one. So, we're going to go over here to the phone. All right, so this contract right here, since there's no time limit on it, this is like a storyline, okay? So when you bring these in, they're going to need a little bit more work than some of the other ones, but they're going to give you some really, really good credit and some really, really good experience. So let's go ahead and grab this one right quick because i got a feeling there's a lot that we need to do to it. Here we are on the outside. As you can see, this thing is pretty dirty. Holy cow. I really like how they've added all this dust to this. You know, since we're right here in the middle of the desert, it makes absolute sense that all these cars are going to come in here and just be totally, totally covered. I mean, the body doesn't look really bad at all. It's a really, really nice looking vehicle. But what you're going to do to be able to get this inside is you need to come up here and you need to be somewhere on the vehicle. All right. Now you're going to hit triangle. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up your pie menu. And then you're going to come right down here into move the car. And that's going to take it inside. But what else are these other items that we have here. Well, let's go right up to the very top. Inventory. You can browse, search, and sell parts here. So this is everything that you have in your inventory. It's kind of like you have a really big backpack with all the parts that you've taken off cars on your backpack. But in reality, it's like the shelves in there. So we don't have anything in our inventory right now, but we'll look at that a little bit later as we get into it. Next, car status. Now this is a really cool one. If you click on this, it's going to show you a lot of information about the vehicle. So as you can see, it's got the current color, the factory color, color variations. It's got, you know, car origin, where it can be found at, the conditions of the car. So this car is pretty run down. It looks like between 43 and 45%. Um, it's also got the mileage, the weight of it, factory size tires, the rims, really, really cool information. Now here's your engine information. So if you're really trying to find a good car that you want to work on, this might be a really, really good tool for you to use. We'll get into this a little bit later once we start diagnosing the engines and things like that. Issues to fix. This is the key thing to your orders. This is going to tell you exactly what you need to work on in easy mode. Now, as you get into the other modes, this isn't going to be here. You're just going to have to get in and start researching the car and figuring it out. So as you can see over on the right-hand side, well, the left-hand side, we've got three different tasks. Okay, And on the right, each one of those tasks has a list of parts that you need to change out with the red X. When you complete it, it's going to turn green. So we can come down here to this one. It says change oil, drain oil, and refill with new. All right, perfect. So it's got the same comment over on the right. And then other tasks, well, this one, they want you to change brake fluid, change power steering fluid, and refill the windshield washer fluid. And the first one up here, we got some brake issues. We got a fuel pump, oil filter, we got an air filter, and they want four new tires. So this is going to be a really, really good car to get into. So the next thing you're going to see here is the interior and additional parts. Once again, you're going to be able to assemble and disassemble. Come down here, assembly mode. If you click on this, now you're going to be able to add parts. So we'll take a look at this a little bit later once we get into um, disassembling and assembling cars. And this is taking you back to normal mode. The very bottom here is examination mode. We'll do this on the inside uh, to take a look and see if we can find some additional parts. And I'll show you a little trick about this on how to get some additional XP with this. So this one up here is shopping list. We don't have anything in there right now because we don't have anything that we found that's bad. So let's go ahead and move the car. You're going to bring right here. You click on that. And then what we want to do is we can take it to entrances. Okay. Or I want to take this right to the car lift. So boom. There we go. And what this is going to do is it's going to put it right in line with where it needs to be at on our lifter. And how do we get it up in the air? Well, you're going to hit this button right here. So up and down are the only buttons that work. You don't have a power and you don't have the locking. So up, what it's going to do is it's going to bring those in automatically and start lifting the car up in the air to right here. Now, if you're doing some engine work, this is a really, really good position to leave it in. But it's not the best one if you're needing to do suspension work or anything underneath. So how do you get it up higher? You hit the button again. Boom. There we go. And it's going to take it all the way up in the air above your head. Now, this is a position where it's really, really easy to work on the vehicle. But I'm going to save that for the next video. So what are we going to do in the next video? Well, we're going to change the tires. We're going to work on the brakes. We're going to change some fluids. And we're going to drain the oil and fill it back up. So this car will be completely done in the next episode. And that's going to show us how to actually get in here and start working on these orders. 
So if you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. And if you want to be kept up to date with everything that's happening here in the garage on Car Mechanic Simulator 21, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.